CSS stands for Cascading Style Sheets. You can think of it as a coding language, although it is not technically a programming but a markup language that is used to style your website. Not to build it, but to style it. Now you might have heard of something called HTML, so let's see the difference between CSS and HTML. HTML is a language used to build blocks of content for your website. It puts text, images, buttons, everything else in place or on the table, and then you use CSS to arrange and style and give appearance to these elements. Colors, fonts, size of the text, position of the elements, layout, all you can think of that makes the website the way it looks. This is a sample of plain HTML content that has no styling applied. Now, if we write a few lines of CSS code that you can see on the left, you can see that we can achieve a bit more designed look. We can give appearance, colors, and so on to our elements so that the things look a little bit more custom and not like just this plain content. And that's where CSS comes in. Basically, it styles our website. It doesn't build it, but it styles it. In other words, you can think of HTML as a skeleton of your website, building the blocks of content and information, and CSS is the facade, giving your website or your building appearance. Now, do you need to know how to write HTML in order to use CSS? Well, the answer is no. You don't need to know anything about HTML in terms of writing, but you do need to know and understand how to read it. And in order to read HTML, you basically just need to know how to read so that you can understand the structure of the code and the way that the things are built around. Before we continue, this video is a part of our online course, CSS Basics, focusing on practice and aimed specifically at beginners without any coding experience and designers. In this course, you will learn the basics of CSS without tech talk through simple language, visual explanations and short lessons, and a series of interactive, hands-on custom exercises, not just the theory. If you would like to learn more and get access to the full course and the exercises, check the link in the description or just continue watching these videos for free. Now let's get back to the video. Why would you use CSS if you're not a coder? First of all, CSS expands your possibilities, what you can build or what you can style through your website and what you can't. Website builders enable you to build websites without coding and they are great. I'm using one which is Elementor to build my websites and websites for my clients, but they do come with a lot of limitations. They are so-called drag and drop builders, which means that you can build websites without coding. However, they are very often limited and your design can often be compromised because you have to fit into those requirements and those limitations of those builders. With CSS, you can create custom designs. Basically, almost anything can be possible, whatever you imagine, whatever you design, you can build it using a few lines of CSS code, and it really boosts the efficiency of your workflow because you can apply global and not manual changes throughout the whole website. This way you can build more complex websites and very fast and easily, and you don't have to worry about resetting to default values, which means that once the theme updates or the plugins update and uh, something changes on the website in some default uh, values, it won't break your website because you've done all that styling and appearance separately through your CSS.